Within 40 years, all the main roads, the significant main roads, will not have any overhead cable. The ASEAN metropolis was planned for 10 years. Yes, General Prayut, the Prime Minister said, OK, but do it in five. Oh, he's reduced it to five. Yes, that's like why it's done, it, it will be done in 2021 rather than 2026. That's a good news. Right. Yes. So it could be accelerated. Sadika, welcome to Thailand Today program. I'm Kusuma Yota Samut. After efforts to move the cables in the capital underground began 10 years ago, the current Thai government finally approved the replacement of the power lines in Bangkok. Now the jumble of messy overhead cables are being put underground, removing the eyesore that residents have complained about for years. To get rid of electric city poles along Bangkok's road is part of the Smart Metro project, which will see electrical and communications cables relocated below the ground. Today, Dr. Navin General Navin Damrikan, he's a deputy secretary general to the Prime Minister for Political Affairs, will tell us more about the Thai government's plan to move all the existing overhead power lines and cables in Bangkok underground and how this project will benefit both the country and the public in general. Please join me to welcome General Navin Damrikan. He's a Deputy Secretary General to the Prime Minister for Political Affairs. Sawadika. Sawadika. Very welcome back. Thank you very Thank much. You well, audience, last week he came with uh, trying to look for some people in the house and living in a proper place mm -hmm. of Dindang. But this week is even better. He's going to beautify the road, the poles, and everything, right? Mm -hmm. Tell us the background, sir. Background of the significance of the project of uh, moving uh, existing overhead power lines and cables in Bangkok. All right. Underground. We are looking right now. Uh, this project is being run by the uh, Metropolitan Electricity of uh, Asso um, Authority, mm. which is responsible for electricity distribution in Bangkok, Non Taburi, and Smut Prakan. Mm -hmm. Those three uh, comprise Bangkok, okay. the major center mm -hmm. of Thailand, whether it be business, government, mm -hmm. tourism, mm -hmm. a lot of that is all in there. So mm -hmm. it is imperative that we have energy security. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned beautify. Mm -hmm. the, um, electric, electrical distribution must not only be energy secure, mm -hmm. but it also, you have to look at aesthetics. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. both sides. We are mm -hmm. looking at uh, safety also, mm -hmm. right? Before, you have utility poles mm. that would only carry electricity and telephone. Yes. So you look at electricity pole, you mm. see on the top, it'd be high voltage, uh. medium voltage, low voltage, and then on the bottom. All in one. Yeah, all in mm. one. And on the bottom mm. would be the telephone line. Mm. Yes. Now with the advent of mm. cable TV, mm. of uh, other mm. operators, yeah. internet. Uh, internet and all kinds of telecommunications. Mm. There are approximately 33 registered, not approximately, there are 33 registered companies <laughs> yes. with the NBTC, mm. the National mm. Broadcasting and Telecommunications mm. Commission. Mm. So those 33 mm. ask for permission to hang their lines on the uh, utility pole. Mm. Mm. Now, question, the problem is utility poles are built for within a certain tolerance. So if, if the weight goes just down, that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. It's the shear forces when you have strong it winds or... It happens sometimes. Or, yes, or branches mm -hmm. leaning on, mm -hmm. on this. Uh, it could very well bring down a whole set, a whole set yeah. of, of utility poles. Mm -hmm. So that's the safety factor. Mm -hmm. And when it's brought down, of course, it's disruption of service, of electricity service mm -hmm. to the people that are on that line. Mm -hmm. So we are looking to do away with this, these telecommunic, well, not, we are looking to get the electrical wires down, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but in the process, mm -hmm. we also have to look at this, what I euphemistically call modern art, mm. is this <laughs> tangled web of wires uh, uh -huh. that is um, 
the telecommunications hang on the mm. utility pole mm. and some mm. that have not been granted permission try yes. to sneak in and mm. hang anyway. Mm -hmm. right? happens, yes. And then the expediency and negligence, mm. mostly of the subcontractors that do the hanging, mm. they can't find it, they just go to a junction box and just hang a new line. <laughs> or when one yeah. is not needed, they uh -huh. don't take it away. Uh -huh. So these copper wires mm. are heavy, and mm. so they pose a uh, safety threat mm. to uh, passerbys and uh, traffic. Of course. Uh -huh. of course, you also have uh, car accidents that run into electric poles. Mm. So realizing the unsightliness uh, and the possible dangers mm. Mm. and the disruption of service, the mm. MEA has been trying mm. to um, underground the utility poles yeah okay yeah. they've been trying for uh, 10 years? 40 years for 40? 40 years <coughs> and since 1984 uh. they've been able to underground uh. 43.5 kilometers only only because they, they run into a it's lot of problems uh, they run into a lot of that's problems. what i want to ask you about obstacle that uh, to do this kind yes. of thing what well, the obstacles is that i mentioned the electrical lines can mm -hmm. go underground, mm -hmm. but because there are piggyback mm. telecoms mm -hmm. on the utility poles, yeah. the fate of the two have been inextricably uh, intertwined. Uh -huh. You cannot force the issue because the network lines are protected by another law. Mm -hmm. So you cannot disrupt the network mm. because that affects a lot of people. So we have to find a way that you can bring the, uh, the electrical line mm. and the telecommunications line down at the same time. Mm. Mm. Right. This is kind of cooperation needed. So yes, it, it's, it's definitely it's needed. Or else you, you can't topple. You can't, you can't yes. topple the post yeah. until both of these are taken care exactly. of. Right. Mm. So um, the te uh, telecommunications line mm. would maybe want to go with a telephone organization of Thailand yeah. that have some uh, mm. underground tubing, mm. but then that's not always the case. Yeah. And sometimes they don't have the coverage, mm. sometimes they don't have um, the mm. space available mm. to rent mm. out. Mm -hmm. So this came to a clear dilemma on the Pahon Yotin uh, mm -hmm. road. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, the electric MEA was able to take down the electricity lines mm. But, but the telecoms had nowhere to go. Can't they go together? Well, that's, that's what came about in the end. Mm. So the telecom operators, uh, they have a trade association, the th um, Thai Telecom Association of Thailand, okay. TCT. Mm -hmm. So they help represent it, and they talk with the NBTC, National Broadcasting and Telecommunications mm -hmm. Commission. Mm -hmm. And so they submitted a plan. Let's use new technology. It's mm. called microfiber mm. uh, optics. So it's a smaller line which can accommodate more than 10 times what the normal fiber optic lines mm. can, uh, can carry. Mm. And then put that in the, uh, sub, mm. in the ducts, in the subduct mm. of mm. the electrical mm. wiring that's going mm. underground, mm. which before was not possible. Mm. Number one, the technology Mm. The uh, uh, getting it uh, smaller yep. wasn't there, mm. and number two, the MEA did not have the charter to provide telecom uh, uh, services, mm. Mm. right? So mm. at a DE meeting chaired by the prime minister, mm. the prime minister okayed mm. having the MEA rent out a subduct. Mm for the telecoms. Sub mm. A subduct is a smaller duct within a duct mm. within a main duct. Okay. Right? <laughs> Sophisticated. Yes. But uh, suffice it to say, it worked. Mm. It worked. It, it worked. Work. Mm. And the prime minister also okayed mm -hmm. using this pilot project mm. to allow the same process to be used on other roads where the electrical wires were coming down mm. and were undergrounding. Mm. So yes, the telecom operators working with the NP NBTC yeah. will now have an option. So whether it be the ongoing projects, mm -hmm. 
or the new project that mm. we are talking about, mm. which is uh, the ASEAN metropolis, mm. we are moving to become a smart metro, uh, a metropolitan without Whiling, you know, that modern oh, art. Some of the tourists will be missing this. Yeah, oh, yes. Could you see that? that some of them took photographs with, oh, uh, yes. <laughs> with uh, such yes, a, and, and, and then on a, a caption, cluster of uh, wow. Oh, web, wow. Wow. Wow oh, is web of wires. <laughs> Acronym for where it was. Interesting. Yes. Um, so, so when we talk about this, there's time limit. There should be. Yes. Right? Yes. So, so how how do So this move? is how it's going. We have right now 43.5. Mm -hmm. That took us 40 years. Oh, what did you right. uh -huh. Uh -huh. And now we are working on 45.4. Yeah. Yes. That's currently yes. ongoing. Uh, yes. Right. Uh, and. Then after that, we will transition to the ASEAN metropolis. Mm. That so ASEAN like metropolis that. is to bring underground the wiring, the overhead wiring, for 39 routes. Yes. Totaling 127.3 mm. mm. kilometers. It's going to cost about uh, 48 billion baht. Worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. It's like I said, it's safety dependability, reliability, mm. and aesthetics, mm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, the 45.4 is ongoing. Yes. And the ASEAN Metropolis project is also running in parallel. That means it's the outer part. No, no, no. It's, it's in still the in the main city, part. The there are ah. criteria ah. mm -hmm. of um, what they're doing, how they submit mm. it to the NESDB mm. and then to the cabinet. Mm to mm -hmm. allow approval of this 127 kilometers. Yes. Uh -huh. So there is a way how they choose it. Mm -hmm. uh, let, me, let me get to that, okay. okay. Uh, the criteria, mm -hmm. number one, okay. they try to do roads that coincide with the SkyTrain. The SkyTrain is already mm -hmm. um, filtered mm -hmm. to be on the main roads, mm -hmm. the, um, the busy thoroughfares. Mm -hmm. So definitely that works. Mm -hmm. Uh, number two, it's main roads and that are on prime real estate mm -hmm. that are developing mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. will develop mm -hmm. and will need uh, electrical demand. Don't so you're doing it at the same time, uh, uh, building for the future. Oh, so the future but uh, they have to avoid a little bit on the controversial because you're passing on this uh, big buildings or a famous Oh, no, no, everything goes underground, yeah, so it should, uh, there, uh, that's no problem at all. For that. And mm. the third criteria is key business areas mm. and significant places mm. that could be uh, Temple? uh, government, government. Uh, temples, um, uh, royal... royal um, uh, yes, yeah. right, so all of that is, uh, the, those are the three criteria mm. based on demand, uh, reliability, and aesthetics mm. and developing for the future. Okay. Mm. Uh, time, you asked about time. the time. Yes, we need to know that. We are already working mm. on the ASEAN metropolis. Mm. Uh, um, it will start construction in 2019. 2019, which yes, is? two years from now. Okay, oh yeah. And mm. it will be done in 2021. But starting in 19. And done in 2021. Three years after that. So okay. by 2021, mm. you will have 216 mm. kilometers of roads mm. that have been, that the wires have been undergrounded. Mm. Mm. And then after that, mm. Bangkok has only 1,450 kilometers of main road. No, mm. Bangkok, the whole area served by the yeah, NDA. The inner and outer? Inner and outer so, ring roads so and, that's and the that. other two provinces. Mm. So uh, what we are doing is the other 1,200, where we've already finished, we will have finished 216 mm -hmm. by 2021. Okay. The other 1,200 something kilometers, mm -hmm. those will be under a 40 year plan. So that 40 years, within 40 years, all the main roads, the significant main roads, will not have any overhead cabling. Mm. Can it be accelerated? Mm. Definitely, because the ASEAN metropolis mm. was planned for 10 years. Mm. Yes, General Prayut, the Prime Minister, said, okay, but do it in five. Oh, he's reduced into five. Yes, that's like why it's done, it, it will be done in 2021 rather uh, than 2026. Uh, uh, that's a good news. Right. Yes, so it could be accelerated. Uh, uh, the key one key parameter 
a variable you're looking at is the balance mm. between this reliability and aesthetics mm. versus cost. Mm. Mm. An overhead line mm. costs 30 million baht a kilometer to build. Is it supposed to be 30 is million? Is it too expensive or uh, it can be done? An underground, an underground line. It's definitely because you have to dig it. 300, 300, <gasps> 300 yeah. 10 times more. So every kilometer that you're bringing down is mm. going to cost much more. 300 plus mm -hmm. million baht. So uh, speed it up, accelerate it, uh, add more roads, all that you have to balance into with the cost. Mm -hmm. right? Smoothen up back to the to normal, right. which is uh, already being opened up. And oh no, now, nowadays, let me, uh, let me give you some um, idea mm. of how they are mm. undergrounding, mm -hmm. right? So there are five steps. First, yes. you do a survey. Okay. Uh, the survey of the existing underground so infrastructure. So this is how to get it done, right? Yes. So first, first surveying. First is survey the existing undergrounds, mm. whether there's water or mm. other TOT, mm. cat mm. Um, lines mm. that are underground, mm. electrical usage now and mm. in the future. Yes. Um, mm. So once you know the environment, mm. then you do the design. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, where would the main trunk go? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. What about the electrical yes. equipment, uh -huh. the me mechanical, civil works, mm -hmm. and then the electrical works? So once you plan it, then you construct it. I'll mm -hmm. come back to the construction. Okay. And once you construct it, you transition from the overhead mm -hmm. to the underground, mm -hmm. both the uh, electrical and telecommunications if they so want it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, fifth is the removal. This is the trouble. Removal is take out, take out. the utility pole. Mm -hmm. And you know where that goes? No. It go, it's donated to the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration. To do what? Breakwater in Bang Khun Thien. They just sink it into the ground where they need protecting oh. erosion. Oh, so yeah. it becomes a breakwater. Wow. Yes. It's a thoughtful mm -hmm. idea. Right, um, now, back uh, to the construction. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes. Construction, there mm. are really four things, that, uh. four ways they're doing it. Mm. Number one, if it's a big station, mm. uh, electrical station, yes. that comes into the city, mm. they use tunneling. So it's a tunnel, and then that runs high voltage lines. Mm. Second, if it's within the roads that you're undergrounding, mm. underneath the road, four meters down, mm. they sink a pipe that's 1.5 to 1.8 meters mm. in diameter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the way they do that is what they call pipe jacking. Mm -hmm. So you dig a manhole, mm. <coughs> you put in the machine, mm -hmm. and then you put in the tubes one by one, yes. and you have a hydraulic that pushes the tube forward. Wow, what a technology. And that, uh, the front end has a drill to mm -hmm. take out the earth mm -hmm. that's been excavated and then taken out. Mm. So that's pipe jacking. Mm. So no more trenches. Okay. You don't have to um, open up the roads. Uh, no more no open more trenches. Open the yes, mm, so everything just goes underground. I thought some open up. No, that huge. would be a lot of work. A lot. Uh, a lot of disruption. Of we want to minimize disruption uh, and uh, inconvenience to the people. But definitely there will be a little trouble with the relocating because of the lighting at that period of time. How do the people use it? That oh, no. Be, that is done the, before transition. Okay. So oh, oh, all oh. the civil work and oh, electrical okay. work have to be finished, mm -hmm. and then the wires run, mm -hmm. tested, and then transition. So mm -hmm. it's minimal transition, maybe half a day. Mm -hmm. Everything will be ready, oh, and it's just uh, flipping mm -hmm. the right levers mm -hmm. and switches. Oh, nice. So back to the construction. Okay. You have the tunneling. Tunneling. For high yes. voltage. Uh. You have the um, pipe jacking mm -hmm. under the main road mm -hmm. at a depth of four meters. Mm -hmm. And then you have horizontal directional mm -hmm. drilling. Mm -hmm. you, you might not know this, but there are hori machines, drills, that can drill and you can uh, manipulate the direction. Mm -hmm. So you can go down and then turn left, turn right, and then Such go under and then go back up. So you can technology. go from the middle of the road okay. to the pavement, okay. avoiding any other underground substructures that you don't want to disrupt. This is a great technology. Being oh, used. yes, yes. And then third is um, fourth. Now, mm. Fourth is open cut. That's mm. rather simple. You just cut open the pavement mm -hmm. and lay down 
what would be simply looked at as, say, a twig. Mm. Mm. So you have the main trunk in the middle of the road, and you have the branch mm. running to the pavement, and then you have the twig that mm -hmm. feeds every single house and um, building mm -hmm. on that road mm -hmm. from underground. And mm -hmm. on, the, on the pavement, once you run the horizontal directional drilling and you yes. have the lines there, uh -huh. uh, there mm -hmm. are unit substations, which mm -hmm. are like transformers. Mm -hmm. There are ring main units that are like breakers. Mm -hmm. And then you have LVMC, low voltage me metering cubicles. So the metering will now be in that box. Mm -hmm. And then from that box, it goes out under the pavement yeah, to the individual houses. And the box houses. Will be what, on the floor? On, on, it will be on, on the pavement. Uh, it will be it on the pavement. It will be, yeah. and these run maybe a, every two hundred meters. It, yes. Right. If something goes wrong, mm -hmm. they can just go there. And yeah, and they can read the electricity usage from mm. the uh, LVMC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So mm -hmm. uh, one thing to uh, a couple of notes. Number one, all equipment used is mm. standard. It, it it meets international standards and it meets the national standards. Okay. So reliability and safety. Mm. Number two, to avoid disruption and inconvenience, mm. they work between 10 o'clock at night and 5 in the morning. Mm. Okay, that's a right. very slow period for right. people so, sleeping. And as I said before, work, be able to work at the same time as other utilities. Mm. So you block traffic only mm. one time. Mm and you disrupt or inconvenience people only one time. Yep, yeah, right. that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So one, uh, before getting to the, the key success of this, uh, to become a key success mm. factor, so the integration is there. Right, uh, it, it, it's definitely something that we need. Uh, let me say four or five. Mm. Reduce construction redundancy. Okay. You don't want to dig more than once, of right? Course. So you have to integrate with work mm -hmm. plans mm -hmm. of other utilities, mm -hmm. especially with the MRT, mm -hmm. Mass Rapid Transit. Okay. Number two, mm -hmm. you don't want to dig on something that's already there. You don't want to dig and find a water main. <laughs> right? So that's when mm -hmm. da data sharing mm -hmm. between all the utilities are necessary. Mm -hmm. Make sure you find out what's already under there, mm -hmm. and then you dig where there's nothing. Then you can lay your lines. Okay. Uh -huh. Third, you want to reduce disruption and minimize inconvenience to the people, especially traffic. Mm. And mm -hmm. so we have to work with the Royal Thai Metropolitan Police. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And fourth, um, the telecommunication dilemma where the telecom the lines had nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. what do we we do? have to work with the NBTC and the TCT, the trade organization and the regulator, so that um, the major network providers mm. have somewhere to go. And they have the option of going with a TOT mm. tubing, mm. which is about one to one and a half meters under the pavement, mm. or go with the MEA mm. using the yep. line conduit mm. that I had already mentioned in the subduct. Right. Right. So last but not least, yes. with um, one minute here is, uh, what is uh, what you call what is the benefits of the of the people or, or the Bangkok? Number one, safety. Uh, the, you get a safety. The safety, like I said, it could topple. Mm. Mm. Those copper lines, that web of wires, that modern art, mm. is heavy. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have safety for the people, uh, less problems for accidents. We have more stable power mm. because the lines are underground sealed in cement, yep. it's less prone to mm -hmm. accidents, okay. so it's more reliable, uh -huh. and of course the aesthetics, we have that. And uh, maybe just an added bonus, let me tell you about, when you take down the lines, top of the wires, mm -hmm. the, uh, as I said, the utility poles go to the BMA, mm -hmm. the wires go back to the vendors. So if you hang it, you take it back. <laughs> Very interesting. One, yes. one, one last thing is that yes. the thing is the people who steal it have no chance to do that anymore. Well, hopefully <laughs> they won't. <laughs> it, uh, as I said, um, there is very mm. much safety because once you drill that big hole with mm. pipe jacking, okay. a big tunnel, uh -huh. you put in ducts ah. about five inches mm -hmm. and that goes inside 
and 24 ducks are inside. The MEA uses at least 20. Okay. But everything around there is sealed in cement. Hmm. And the wires that run inside there is, under, is waterproof. So yeah. don't worry about don't any worry. safety problems. Yes, very interesting. So uh, we will see new face of uh, uh, City of Angels very soon. 2021, 200 kilometers done. Uh. And all the rest at a maximum. Uh. Conservative yes. uh, at, at a maximum of 40 years, but I'm sure a General Bayut will accelerate Possible. it to be it faster. Well, we are ending up our program with great thanks to General Navin Damri Gandhi, the Deputy Secretary General to the Prime Minister for Political Affairs. Thank you so much for being here. Thank Think you about, for having me. Thank you so much. General Navin Damrikan, Deputy Secretary General to the Prime Minister for Political Affairs, thank you so much, sir, for joining our program today. From now on, we can expect that the site come attraction, which has long dominated Bangkok, could be history in some years, and this will also improve Thailand's image as a global tourist destination. Thank you for watching Thailand today. I'm Kusuma Yotha. Tomorrow, we'll see you again. สวัสดีค่ะ